All right, so this will be our next conditional formatting video. In this one, we'll go over highlighting duplicates. So we'll do two things. We'll highlight duplicates and we'll highlight extra duplicates. So you'll see how it works. So there's really no functionality in Google Sheets to just highlight, go here, format, and do like conditional formatting and select like duplicates for whatever reason. So we're gonna make one. So we're gonna do this using a formula. All right, so for that, we're gonna use a function called count ifs. So count ifs function basically is a conditional count function. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a range. My range is gonna be basically this. And assuming I'm gonna get more stuff, I'm just gonna remove the end range of this. So first I'm gonna lock it by pressing F4, or you can just add dollar signs. And then I'm gonna remove the end range. So I'm gonna remove this $14 thing. So that basically means starting A2 and going all the way down. That's gonna be the range, comma. And in that range, I'm gonna say what value I'm targeting. So it's gonna be this value right next to what I am, A2. I'm gonna close this, hit enter. So what this means is that in this range, it was trying to find this perineal and it found one of those. Now, if I take that and drag this formula down, see for Jerry Jefferson, if I check here, we're checking in this range how many Jerry Jeffersons we have. So we're gonna get a three. So this is one, we get two, and we get three, so three of them. So two means there's one here and there is one here. So basically, anytime it's more than one, we know it's a duplicate. So what we can do to be able to do conditional formatting, we need to convert this formula to something that will give us true and falses. So I'm gonna go to this formula and take all of this and say, is that greater than one? I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna drag it down. So if I drag this down, now you're gonna see instead of getting those ones, two, threes, we get true and false. So false means there is no duplicate for perineal and true means there is a duplicate for Jerry Jefferson. See, there is a duplicate and there's a duplicate here. So every true by doing this is gonna mark our duplicates. So now I can use this formula for conditional formatting. Now to make sure this formula is also gonna work when we have multiple columns, I'm also gonna add a dollar sign for this A. So this is gonna be my final formula. So lock all the columns and the only row that's unlocked is this two for this condition. So I'm gonna take that formula, I'm gonna apply and drag it down just to make sure that I have this. And then I'll copy that whole formula, including the equal sign. I'm gonna hit escape because I don't wanna modify the formula. I copied the actual text of the formula so far. So I'm gonna go here and select the range I want to conditionally format. Now it's very important to start selecting the range from the same cell that you copied the formula. I copied the formula from here, from the second row. So I want to start selecting the range from the second row and down. So once I have it selected, I go format, conditional formatting. And here as the last option in rules is custom formula. I'm gonna choose that, paste my formula right here and choose some formatting that I want for my duplicates. So I'll do like this background and this font color. I'm gonna hit done, close this, and there you go. All our duplicates are highlighted. Now this conditional formatting is not really tied to these cells over here. I can just go ahead and clear these by doing delete this will still work. So for example, if I go here and copy this over twice, see now that's a duplicate, so it's automatically gonna get the color. If I take that off, it's gonna undo the color. If you're planning to add more going down, you could have just selected more going down. So if I select the same thing, see, I'd go under format and conditional formatting, I click on this, see the range goes from A2 through A14. If I want this to apply longer, then I'll change this 14th to however long I need. So I'll do 100. So that's gonna go all the way down to 100th row. I'm gonna click done. So that's not gonna highlight anything below because there's no data. But now if I, for example, go here and add Anna, so that's not a duplicate. If I add Joe, that's not a duplicate. If I add Anna again, 
See, now it's a duplicate. It's going to highlight it. So now we have conditional formatting. I'm going to undo a lot of this, including the step where I did the conditional formatting. Here we go. And now I'm going to do another one. So that was a way to just highlight our duplicates with some color. Now, what if I just want to highlight the extra ones? So I don't want to highlight the first occurrence of, for example, Jerry Jefferson. But if I end up having a second one like this one, I want to make sure I highlight that. So for that, we're going to use a formula a little different than the first one, we're still going to use count ifs. And this time what I'm going to do again, I'm going to select this like that. So I'm only selecting the first two, and then I'm going to actually change this to a two. So I'm going to do a very weird type of range. So it's going to be from a two through a two, which is like the same cell, comma, and then in that I'm going to check if that's this one, close parentheses. Now there is a couple of things I need to lock here. First of all, for all conditional formatting, I usually lock all the columns by default. So I'm going to go and add a dollar sign for a dollar sign for a dollar sign for a that's not going to do what we need yet. But we want those locked. Now what I'm going to do now after I have this, I'm going to then lock this first row reference for this first a two for this beginning cell. So one more dollar sign here, that does this. So let's just drag this formula down and see what the results of this is. So what's going to happen because of the way I lock this see now it counts how many perineals we have in this one cell. So that's obviously one. Now this is Jerry Jefferson, it's just one. Now as we keep going down, you'll see that this range will keep expanding because I didn't lock this bottom part that's five or really in this case was two, but this bottom two wasn't locked. So as I'm dragging, that keeps changing to three, four, five. And what happens by this position in Jerry Jefferson, now that checks this whole range. Now in this range, there are already two Jerry Jeffersons. So it's going to give us two. But for the first one, because we didn't get that far with our range, it's just going to give us one. So what this is allowing us to do with this formula, now we get twos, threes, and twos, basically higher numbers than one for those that are extra duplicates, like this one, this one, this one, this one. And that is excellent. Now we need to convert this to true and false. So we're going to take this and check is that greater than one again, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to drag this down because true and false is the formula we need to actually do conditional formatting. So these are all going to be false. Now, this is the first Jerry Jefferson that's actually a duplicate after the first one. So that's true. Excellent. These two are not apparently. So this is another Jerry Jefferson that's also, see, a duplicate. So that's true. So now trues are the extra duplicates. So now again, we can take this formula, copy it. I'm going to hit escape. And again, remember, highlight from the same row that the formula was coming from. So from here and on. So if I want more, I'll just keep selecting. However far you want to apply this formula, I'm going to go until here, go format, conditional formatting. And here I'm going to do a custom formula and paste my formula. Then we'll do some formatting. So I'll do some color and some color for my font, maybe make it bold to done. So just formatting X out of this. Let's see the results. So command up couple of times it takes us here, you should see how everything that's extra duplicate is now highlighted. So now I can clear this, we don't need to keep that. And now every extra thing is just automatically highlighted with our color. So if I go here, for example, and add another Julio, see that's a duplicate of this Julio. So that's going to get the color. And if I add somebody that's not a duplicate, that's not going to get the coloring. So this is how we can highlight extra duplicates if it's necessary. As a matter of fact, if you're creating this column as a warning column for people, you can use that so you can apply this formula, then just clean up this column. And then people let's say these are IDs and you want to make sure that people don't type the same ID twice. So they go here and type 5567. And then 8879. And then 4456. 
right? So, so far, no duplicates, nothing is going to show up. So the moment they enter the same ID again, so let's say 8879, see, it will give them the warning that that was already entered. And if we clear it, see the formatting is gone. So that's a little bit about highlighting duplicates with conditional formatting. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.